The Maze Runner is a 2014 film that is based off of the novel with the same name. The movie is directed by Wes Ball and the plot is we meet this kid Thomas who at the very beginning he's put on this elevator shaft and he's brought up to this forest like area where a bunch of other young kids have been put there and together all of them, some of them for three years, have been trying to figure out a way to get off of this area and the only way that they think they know how to do it is through this maze and it's not as easy as just going through the maze and finding the way out because as some of them find out the hard way this maze proves to be very deadly now what I thought of the Maze Runner was I like this movie I did, and this is surprising because I wasn't really expecting a whole lot from this film. Let me talk about the cast because the main kid, Thomas, is played by Dylan O'Brien, who I don't think I've seen him in anything before this, but I did like him as Thomas. I did like how, just like everyone else, I guess, he, sh he winds up on this area and he doesn't have his memories, he doesn't really know who he is besides his name. The character, Gailey, is played by this guy, Will Pelter. And I remember seeing him in that movie, Where the Millers. He played the nerdy, dorky-looking guy in that film. And it was funny to see him in this movie play the tougher, bully-like character because it was just complete night and day. I didn't think he did all that bad. There were just a lot of points where I thought, like, I guess I understand your point, but you're always disagreeing with virtually everyone else in the group. There should have came a point where he just stopped being such a dick. And you have Patricia Clarkson, who is, I guess you could say, the chancellor of a higher purpose going on. I don't want to give anything away for spoiler reasons. That should bring me to the actual, the maze. Because again, I won't get into spoilers, but this movie does a good job of building up this maze and how dangerous it is and how you shouldn't want to just go in there because no one's ever made it out after dark. When you find out what's in there, and yeah, you do find out what's in there, it was pretty creepy. In fact, there were a few scenes after that where you see what's in there. And it almost turned into a horror movie. It, it was a little frightening to see not only what was in there, but then to see what happened to some of these kids. Some of these kids got killed. And I mean viciously killed. It was not, it didn't feel like a kid's film. I'm surprised that it's PG-13. I don't know how they got away with half of the stuff that was in this movie. It's almost like the first Hunger Games when people complained that it's supposed to be about kids getting killed, but you don't see it. This movie, no, you see it. Or at least you see enough of it that sticks with you. If you're black, <laughs> then it sucks to be you in this movie. Every, almost every black character in this movie just got the shittiest raw end of the deal. And sure, you always have those jokes and just how funny it is to say, oh, the black guy gets killed first. They don't necessarily get killed first, but it's almost like the most messed up things happen to the black characters in this movie. There was this virus that is in this wooded area. And when you see one of the characters with the virus, I thought he was a zombie at first. It was creepy. And that plays into just how creepy some of the stuff was. I found it amusing when there came time that they put a girl in this group because she was the only girl there. This is all a group of boys, guys, and when the one girl was there, I'm like, okay, how soon before she gets raped? Um, I don't mean to make that like a joke, but it's just like one girl literally in the middle of 30 guys, how is that not 
bound to happen. I would love to see a sequel to this. I would love to see what they're able to do more with the story and mythology that they're building. I was shocked to read that this movie costs $30 million. That's amazing. What they were able to do and get away with, with a $30 million budget, is amazing. So guys, clearly I'm recommending you go check out The Maze Runner when it comes out in theaters. My rating is definitely a matinee. Go check it out. Support a good movie that deserves it. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in seeing The Maze Runner. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!